Okay, the X-Ray concept is more than just a pure concept car. It actually gives an insight into how the company is changing. Furthermore, there's three very key aspects related to this concept car. The company is growing with its portfolio, its product plans, it's expanding. This car is really a, um, an in-depth look into those different market segments, whether it's the crossover or the SUV segment, and is trying to radiate a new type of design language within that segmentation. More important though, is one of the key aspects, and it's trying to define the brand DNA, the design language, and even the front face of the brand for the future. With very ambitious growth plans in the future going to new vehicle segments, th this vehicle is trying to represent that change in the direction the company is going. Crossovers, SUVs, this car is trying to encapsulate that vehicle segment and radiate within that segmentation a new design language at the same time. Now the crossover and SUV segment is one of the fastest growing segments in the industry today. Very relevant, especially then for the Russian market. But this is also trying to start a change in the direction, as I mentioned, of the design language and really radiate the future of how Lada cars will be. One of the most important aspects of the, the Lada X-Ray concept is the front of the vehicle. With this car, we've tried to define the new face of the brand, something that's very important to get a front end, a face of the car, which is very dynamic, sporty on one side, which has a lot of character, bold, but also something which is recognizable and unmistakable. Now, as you can see from this vehicle, it's quite a dramatic change from what you're used to on the brand. The whole idea has been designed around contrast. And what better way to show that contrast than is getting a very expressive graphic on the front end of the vehicle. And that can be clearly seen by this X shape, which is the new design direction and the new face of the brand. As you can see, it's quite a bold, dark grille Incorporated in that grille is an increase in the size of the emblem. It's very important, you know, when we start discussing around developing the brand and actually promoting the brand, we need to show off then the brand's identity. So the emblem has a little bit of refinement. It's actually now been incorporated in the grille. So it's sitting on a plinth. It's more three-dimensional and proportional then to the front end design. But this whole X shape, which is the most dominant part of the front end, has also been emphasized through these chrome blades. So on both sides of the X, you have these two chrome blades, which actually hold the X together. And also during nighttime, or even on a dark car, through the lighting will allow you to emphasize then this graphic. Now this graphic actually continues into the actual graphic of the lamp itself which once again gives the car a very wide appearance. It's all about trying to get harmony, trying to get a lot more exclusivity in the way the lines and the surfaces are developed. So a lot of refinement has been put into then to this basic graphical execution of the front end theme. The front you can see is also very vertical. That in conjunction with the, the long hood, fairly flat, the steeply raked windscreen and the curved roof line give this car its very new dynamic modern proportions. As you can see, it's a three-door configuration, four-seater, but it's, it's very modern in its execution. We spent a lot of time working with the lines and the proportions of this vehicle and the general architectural construction of how we actually built the surfaces. As you can see, we have a very strong dominant shoulder line running through the whole length of the car. This gives the car its stability and robustness. Combined with a fairly simple body section, but in contrast to that, we have these very interesting fender themes, really executed like the muscle of a thoroughbred racehorse or an athlete. A lot of sculpture in this area, really emphasizing the wheel arches both at the front and at the rear. But if you look closely, you will see that these two themes together actually form also an X. So trying to get a body size sculpture, something very new and individual for the brand, something which is original, and something which you'll see is being developed as with the X-shaped front end theme on our vehicles which are already planned for production in the future. So that's why I'm saying this is more than a pure concept car. I talked a little bit about the strategy of 
this car going into new segmentations, the way the brand is moving on, crossover SUV, but it's also very relevant for the actual design language and the front end theme. Now we've paid a lot of attention also to the proportions of the car and that's very important as we go forward in making modern execution of cars for the future. The proportions then of the, the glass to the bodywork, the wheelbase, the fairly short overhangs, proportion then of the hood, but in general, the whole way, the lines and the surfaces act together in a very harmonious way. It's really from this angle, you can see the pure sculpture of this vehicle, especially the rear fender, the muscle here that it's showing, the shoulder, the flow of the, the glass then into what we say creating a real interesting signature as far as the rear lamp graphic. As you can see, the whole rear end is also very sculptural, pulling the, the rear glass down and finalizing it with the integration of possibly spacing out the larder letters in the future. All in all, I think you'll find this vehicle is very harmonious, full of sculpture, character, very bold on one side, but really demonstrates this new step and direction of the design language of the future. Another very interesting aspect of this vehicle is the solar bronze soft touch paint that we've used. As you can see, it's a matte finish, and that's in strong contrast to the the black X grill you saw earlier. But please take a look at the inside and that's where you'll see this harmonious theme has also continued all the way through the whole vehicle. As you can see from the cockpit, it's a very driver orientated theme, really trying to emphasize the feeling of space on the interior. And that strong contrast is actually taken from the exterior to the inter interior as far as the materials are concerned. You can see on this cockpit which actually encapsulates the driving area, it's treated in the same soft touch bronze solar paint finish. Now part of the theme of the interior is trying to build up different layers. So it starts then with a the main focal point for the driver ergonomically on the instrumentation. Here we've actually incorporated an illuminated tube around the main instruments, flanked by these two additional screens on the side. Now this is encompassed in a glossy black area as well, very similar to the grille, trying to pick up the design theme from the exterior to the interior. The same way that is then connected then to this floating solar bronze panel, which incorporates then all the human interface elements. Here we have a central control unit. This allows very easy access to the navigation, phone, car, sound system. Just by rotating, pressing the control unit, we can see on the screen which then pops up all the necessary information. So the whole idea of this interior is designed about ergonomics as well, trying to make sure that the controls are within the perfect sort of location for the driver. So to conclude things, the Lada X-Ray concept, as I mentioned earlier, is more than just a pure concept car. It gives in an insight into how the changes are happening at the, the company at the moment. It also previews the expansion plans that Autovaz has in the future as far as going into crossover SUV segments. It's also very important as far as generating and developing ideas for a new design language, ideas which have come from existing projects onto this vehicle, but also the fact that this vehicle is inspiring the ongoing projects and the fact that with this vehicle we're showing a new brand identity, a new front or face for the, for the Lada brand. Something that you'll see being executed on future product vehicles as from 2015.